looks like the games are going to be starting soon for round one of Worlds. We're getting the pairings. They have up. already started, actually. They have already started. All right. Um, we're waiting for Gondor, Gondorian to follow through and give us what we're watching. Well, I'm, 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 I'm finding just some random matchups that I thought would be interesting. So it is just waiting, you know, for you guys to kind of make the call on the. We just need to grab the, the uh, match up the brackets, and then go from there. What? Grab the link to the brackets. Uh, so let's just yeah. ignore him and just pick somebody. <laughs> it's not doing. Anything. Sure. Who do you want to watch? I think we should watch RVD. I think that's a yeah. good one. That's a dark horse. I'm I'm watching now because watching I'm best in the world. <laughs> yeah, man, he's the best well, in the world. Oh. I'm watching the, arguably the best in the world, you know, asterisk. Uh, <laughs> Again. Well, what do you mean? Is, is it just RVDs for his IGN, I think? Yeah, what's his yes. game name? Yeah. It's Rob Van Dam. Uh, search A1 Sisyphus, that's what I did. Oh, okay. well, actually, oh. I saw it come up through the, through the, the challenge stream, but All right. I don't know. I, I'm a fan of Sisyphus because he's one of the few players I've ever played that, despite all trying, I, I, I can't beat him. I've tried. It's mm -hmm. depressing. <laughs> so so uh, I, I'm a fan, I say. Alright, so we here are now watching the game of choice. Rob Van Dam versus... Just waiting Juan for it to catch up to their current turn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I mean, they stacked like their first the cards! This is so exciting! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's... My it's, god, a gargoyle, I never saw that coming. <laughs> it, it's getting it's getting interesting. We see guys where it is now. It's there's some there's yeah. some tough decisions happening. Well, this is an interesting game for, I mean, this any matchup anyway, just because yes, if he, yes. if the Lance deck is playing Nightshade, it makes some very interesting choices. Yeah, and uh, talking about Bainbow, here he is. I know. Well, hence why I picked this, this match. Yeah, we I, I I. I yeah, I knew he was going to use a Bainbow. That, that's kind of thing. He's been running Bainbow since way before it was popular. So, <laughs> I no was running there. Bainbow before it was cool. <laughs> so, no, no surprise there. I think if anybody was going to bring a Bainbow, it'd be him. Turn 4 IgG and a turn 5 Ankle Breaker. Sounds familiar. Into an <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how that goes. <laughs> so far from RVD, uh, Rob Van Dam, uh, no surprise plays so far, but he's Oh wow, that's PP that's a rough star. play. Have you guys caught up yet? Um, I'm at the point where the Aeon was just hasted in. Uh, right, yeah, you're about, you're about to the, yeah, okay. I'm like uh, one or two turns ahead. Ooh, this this is getting ugly early. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so he does play a nightshade. I just think he plays your nightshade. Great. He plays it. Plays nightshade. Wow. What? I just synced out. Oh, did you sync out? Yeah. Really? <laughs> really? That's, gonna... that's never happened to be spectating the game before. That's freaking annoying. I'll make that, that's thing. never that's happened to you before. Really? That's never happened to me before. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Let let let, it be, let the record that state that D and D has never seen a sync error while spectating the game. Just let the record state that. I but now that he is. Streaming, well, instant I, exactly. Well, I never had a chance to stress test it, and now there's bound to be a crap ton of people watching this game. I, I, I'm sorry, like, everybody that's watching, but to be fair, if you're watching it live, you're probably paying more attention to the game anyway, because it's the turn ahead of whatever this means at, so... Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, for a moment there, I, I wasn't sure about the decision there, but... No, because I'm watching it now, and the turn after the Aeon hit the board, um, R.E.D. played a, a Raven and a Nightshade back-to-back. Uh, -back. So it's, it's getting kind of ugly for um, the Bainbow. But, yeah, because Bainbow has yet to play any sort of a draw engine, so this is most definitely top-decking. But um, I'm not sure that that's worrying him at this point. He, uh, he, he's just killed the Aeon. Yes, so. yes, he did. He he took the Aeon out, but that Raven may or may not, you know, have some, you know, cause of issues. It's, 
I think what's really going to be the deal breaker here is how much draw he gets off the ill-gotten gains, and whether or not Sisyphos has a Shriek of Vengeance lying around to destroy it. Because he's going to keep drawing and drawing and drawing, and he'll just snowball ahead of him, because like you said, Bambo is no draw engine, and he has one. Maybe, but Bambo can also generate a lot of cards from his ability being able to kill things like nightshades and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it's yeah, entirely sure. possible that even though he's drawing the extra cards, he won't be able to kill the Bambo and he'll actually just run out of deck. Yeah, it's possible, he's but too many I mean, ravens, though. He just yeah, played another raven, raven, another nightshade, oh, so he's like really kind of jumping ravens. ahead. Okay. I don't know, I mean, so so far from RVD's de RVD deck, um, I haven't seen any surprises. Um, Shatter Knight for Sisyphus, no surprise there. So far, I haven't seen any real surprise plays. But, um, yeah, it, that ill-gotten gains is really going to cause an issue. So, I mean, I'm sure Sisyphus is sitting there thinking, you know, if, um, if the time comes, he's got to shriek that. He, the card advantage matters, especially when it's one-sided. You can't let that hit the board and stay there for too long. Yeah, so I'm at, like, turn 7 or 8 now. They're both getting into top deck mode, pretty much. But that IGG is generating cards, so. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Double ra it, ra uh, Raven Nightshade two turns in a row is nice. I yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, Just that might be game right know. there. Ooh, that might be game. Ooh. Yeah, already just played an Aeon in front of the two Ravens. That, that... Oh, wow, it is. This is calls it. Good yeah. game. Yeah, she basically did exactly what we said. If you just flood fatties on Bainbow, like, what's Ooh, he supposed to do? Ooh, that's interesting. Is there, like, just watching here, um, he attacked the Shadow Knight with the Raven and then finished it off with a Nightshade, even though it already had zero attack. Yeah, because he wanted to draw. Oh, yeah. yeah he wanted, but that's true. He wanted but I'm just band, worried that's because why. eventually, like, he might be able to pull that SK back where otherwise on the board it would be useless. So That's true. In, I, yeah. in most it's definitely cases, a that would be an issue, but not when Bambo is top decking and you have the ill gotten games running and you already have the two Ravens. I mean, RVD has such dominant board control. So, dominant game board one control. goes to the best in the world. Here you go, he's living up to his title. I said he would. Mm -hmm. Apparently he is. He apparently is. We're just waiting Ugh. for him to start up the second game. Come on, guys. I wonder if either of them is paying attention to the stream or like they don't even realize that they're being watched. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. They're in like full pressure mode right now, just struggling to play up the games. Yeah, if I was them, I wouldn't be listening to the stream. Too much for distraction. I'd be focusing on my plays, my decision making. Mm, maybe. I I I might be playing in the background just in case one of us slips something. But. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we could say something stupid. You never know. Yeah, that's true. So now we await game two to start. I'm tempted to jump into uh, another, but uh, I'll, well, let's see how this one goes. Because another play that I'm looking at is Quark Gas. Affects that guy. He's just won so many tournaments. My goodness. Um, yeah, he's a good player. Do we know what he's playing, GDC? Mm. Yeah, he's not going to answer anything, is he? <laughs> no. So. I <clears throat> no idea. He's at some point he'll eventually drift into the to the stream, but no idea. For right now, he's just in his own little world, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is his name TJ Ace? Yes. All right. Are you going to pop yep. in on his game? I'm just hopping in there while you wait for this post game to load up, see what they're playing. So it's, yeah, uh, Jeff is too. playing an Ember, Ace is playing a Moonstalker. Oh, ah, that's, I would give, that's on the advantage to Moonstalker. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Severe advantage. Well, 
I don't know, actually. I don't sleep on the KA guys, because I've, I've heard they've actually been doing ridiculously well lately. I know there's quite a few of them in the in the the, the, the final, the championship. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sleep on these guys. They, I know they're well, what Chinese I've actually guild noticed or with, guild. with the Moonstalker builds as of late yeah. is they haven't been running Shadow Fawn. And if you're not running Shadow Fawn, then warriors get chances to like basically kill your field. And if they kill your field, then you can't do your whole super swarm control the board for the entire game thing. Yeah. Also, Maybe. if Amber is packing a full set of Smashing Bow, that's going to be really good because she can take out the yeah, teeth. The, uh, I mean, not the exact, the um the wrath the wrath of forest. Yeah. That's going to be huge. well. It, well, it's it, it's funny because uh, the 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 KA players. I mean, they're a bit of a niche guild. Or Predominantly Chinese-based guild, but I, I don't sleep on them. I mean, they—I would not think if you know they came prepared and were packing you know, a severed ties or two. I would not be surprised. They—they they have some crazy niche decks that are have been doing well lately. Yeah, it's interesting to see a guild you don't really know as much about, and they're like way out in the finals. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we don't hear a lot about them because none of them hang out on here. They have their own separate. Forums and they never pay attention to the official ones. So, yeah, oh. good well, for I mean, them. I, yeah, <laughs> yes, good for them. Yeah, I don't know how much of it is you know a language barrier for them because I know that is an issue, or um, how much of it is you know them just kind of you know using their own chat and just kind of you know in their own world. So, uh, no, I'm not quite sure how that's working for them. I feel like they they as a group are kind of oriented to, <laughs> forgive the pun, um, segregation a little oh. bit from the rest. <laughs> I know. Oh, wow. Amber pulled the shriek. Good job. Amber pulled the shriek from, uh, from Moonstalker. Oh, the shriek to destroy Moonstalker's jeweler's dream, which was actually Amber's jeweler's dream because of Dimension yes. Ripper. So I suppose it doesn't yeah, really um, matter anyway. They just traded a little <laughs> run. Yeah. yeah except traded. Amber oh, lost so the resource. This Moonstalker so. deck is playing Shadow Fawn. So at that point, I would give the advantage to Moonstalker for sure. He should technically like just probably I mean probably. Uh, see what you use the Shriek for that play though. I don't know if I'd use I think that the Shriek, shriek definitely though. should have been used um, um was Arath, there I would think. Well was Arath there, was there a there. um speed strike attached? No. No. no speed strike. I probably I wouldn't. It have, wasn't his jeweler's dream. It was the opponent's. The JD. I don't. I don't even know if yeah. this Moonstalker deck runs like JD. I don't know. See, well, I mean, Shadowfawn probably doesn't. I mean, again, neither of us know what they have in their hands, so we we don't know what their their decisions were faced with. Yeah. But I mean, I, I don't know. Oh, he had a second Shadowfawn. He's way up in wow, Shadowfawn. Wow, double fawn. He's that's way up in like six double. now. Amber is, you know. K.A. Jeff is hoping for an Aeon. Because he, his, his eyes are going to be fodder next turn unless he can protect yeah. them. This is what happens. If you play Shadow Font with a Moonstalker, you're just going to block out Amber forever until her board's dead. Yeah. Yeah, I had a match the other day where I played against, I don't know, it was a Majari or something, and I was using a Moonstalker, and literally it was just Moonstalker and Plasma Hemoth on the board. I ignored all of their allies and just burned the hero to the ground in like three turns. I feel kind of bad, but you can do that with a uh, Moonstalker and a lot of Shadow Fox. You can. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I loved and Moonstalker could... back in uh, 1.29 when Logan was running rampant. Because it just yeah. shut him down. It was like the only deck that could shut Logan down so hard. Oh. It's true. That it's true for, um, the problem with that is it did become, you know, rock, paper, scissors because. The Moonstalker yes. was shut on the yep. Logan, it's completely but the Moonstalker resistance. would get destroyed by the Eladwin. By Eladwin, but then Eladwin could lose to Logan, and then it was just a cycle that never ended. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Interesting. I remember playing a lot so. of Logan during that time. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it like, caused me many headaches. Oh, oh, man. Interesting choice, though. Ignoring all the allies, the board complete, and going straight for the hero. Interesting choice. Yeah, Frank's killing. This could be yes. risky. What tends you might think you can kill them, and then they drop their enrage, let's say, and then you're like, whoops, and then they get the board back and win the game. All right, RVD, so, RVD apparently is back in the IRC, so they should be starting up their game soon. 
All right. Yes, he's, he's back being back. slowest in the world right now. <laughs> Best in the world is the slowest in the world. The puns just keep coming, don't they? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm I'm sorry, RVD. It's it's entirely too easy. It, 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 I, we 